Hello and welcome to this live video. Sony just released a new firmware upgrade version 2.0 for the Sony A7S Mark III. And in this quick live stream, I want to walk you through step by step of how to get the new firmware version and the new features such as Cinetone onto your Sony A7S Mark III. All right, I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. Before we start, real quick, a short shout out to Restream. This live stream is brought to you by Restream. We are using the Restream Live Studio to do this live stream. In case you want to learn more about Restream, check out our Restream playlist with it or use the link down there in the video description below to sign up for a Restream account and get a $10 Restream credit in case you just want to try it yourself and mess around with the Restream Live Studio. Studio. All right, so I am Greeny and let's jump into what we know. So Sony just released firmware version 2.0 for the Sony A7S Mark III and this firmware version is adding as Cinetone to the camera, which will be picture profile number 11. Uh, just in a sec, we will go through the camera and see what we currently have and what we, have, what we will have afterwards. But first, um, to start, we of course need to download the Sony firmware upgrade for the Sony A7S Mark III. And to do that, we can simply go to the website from Sony, which is, by the way, also down there in the video description or now on screen. On that page, only thing we have to do is to download the firmware update for the Sony A7S Mark III. Let's do that. And in the meantime, let's jump into the camera and I'm showing you what we currently have in terms of picture profiles and what the current version is on the Sony A7S Mark III I have in front of me. So we are now on the Sony A7S Mark III and I want to walk you through this really quick. So just in case you want to check if you already have version 2.0 of your firmware, if you go to the menu and you scroll down, to the very bottom to the setup option and there the last option should be setup options in there is the very last entry is version if we click on that we see that i'm currently running version 1.01 so version 2.0 will be an improvement and i just talked about it one of the improvements we get will be the S Cinetone. And to demonstrate to you real quick where this will be appear, uh, let's go into the picture profiles of that camera. Uh, I have that in my personal short settings here, picture profile. So we see we currently have 10 different picture profiles plus the one uh, which is picture profile off. Uh, after this firmware upgrade, we expect to see a new picture profile, picture profile 11, which will be as Cinetone, which as you might know, is well known for its color accuracy when it comes to um, flesh tones and skin tones. So this will be something for all of you who do either a lot of uh, faces or uh, music videos or something, or just there's a lot of flesh and you like to have those awesome colors, which Sony is well known for. Let's jump back to uh, our download page real quick and start the installation of the firmware. All we need to do for that is we need to download that piece of software, which once again, you can download uh, using the link I have in the video description below. And once we did that, it's only a matter of running that setup and following the on-screen instruction. Make sure to not have your camera connected to the computer via USB before you get prompted to do so. So when you download and start this application, do not have the camera connected. So we are now in the setup menu and the first thing we now have to do is connect the camera to the computer. And to do that, we obviously use a USB-C cable. And while we do that, we should see that the camera actually switches over to USB mode. By the way, here, uh, let's get one step back real quick. You need to be in mass storage mode. And in case you don't know how to get there, let me demonstrate real quick. So I'm going to uh, disconnect the camera from the computer real quick. All right, so in case uh, 
you are not in the mass storage mode. The way to get there is to go down to the setup and in there to USB. And in the USB, there is USB connection, which is currently hidden by my face cam, which is currently set to mass storage. In case it's set to MTP, you have to change this to mass storage. And in case you get a message which is telling you you cannot change the USB settings, make sure to not control the camera with your smartphone at the current moment. If you want to make sure that you're not controlling the, smartphone, uh, the camera with the smartphone, go to the network tab and in there you will have transfer remote and in there is control with smartphone. Make sure that this is set to off and once that's set to off, you will be able to set the USB settings. So let's reconnect the USB again and bam. So we should now be connected to our computer. All right, so next step is we need to go further and now it's verifying that our camera is connected and in working order. Checking the version, uh, verify that version blah, blah, is, but yeah, that is in fact true. We checked, we are not on version 2.1 yet, so let's continue. And now the update is in progress. And the camera might disconnect from the computer just as it did and restart, but that's fine. We are now doing the update on the camera and the update might take a few minutes make sure to not shut down your camera, make sure to not disconnect the USB or do any fun stuff with the camera or your computer while doing so. There should be fallback mechanisms, so in case anything goes wrong, the camera won't be bricked, but still, it's a firmware upgrade, so you might not want to mess with your camera just to be safe and not have to do, deal with any bricked devices. And we just got confirmation that the update process has been completed and it appears to be successful. So then go over here, let's finish. And from now on, we should be fine if we disconnect our USB from the camera. All right, and we should be in our camera, which should have an updated firmware now. So let's go and check this real quick by going to the settings once more, scrolling down to the setup option and go to version. We are now on firmware version 2.0. Okay, that's fine. Let's go into the, the picture profiles and see if there now is a picture profile 11, which is as Cinetone. So let's get in here and indeed, as we, as we expected, there now is a picture profile 11, which is as Cinetone, as we can see here. This is how simple it is to actually get that done, see? So this is as Cinetone we did not have before, and in case you need a Cinetone for your workflow or you just want to update your camera to the version to the firmware version 2.0, this is how easy it is. Simply plug in your camera to the computer, download the software, install the update and follow the on-screen instruction. In fact, do not plug in your camera before you're told so by the software. All right, I hope this helped you to upgrade your Sony A7S Mark III to version 2.0. And in case it did, please make sure to like this video and let me know with a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. And once more, if you want to test Restream yourself, which is the tool we use to do this entire live stream, check out the link in the video description below to get a $10 Restream credit. All right, I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. Thanks for watching. I will see you in another video. Bye.